and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. What you need to know about Omicron booster showed. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 booster, administered six months after two-dose regimen of BNT162b2, shows substantial increase in antibody and T-cell responses. Johnson & Johnson NYSE, JNJ, the company, today announced preliminary results from an independent study, including a subset of participants from the Janssen-sponsored COV-2008 study, conducted by Dan Baruch, MD, PhD, et al., of Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, BIDMC, which showed that a booster shot of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, AD26, COV-2-S, administered at six months after a two-dose primary regimen of BNT162b2, increased both antibody and T-cell responses. These results demonstrate the potential benefits of heterologous boosting, mix and match. The article describing these results has been posted on MedArchive. There is early evidence to suggest that a mix and match boosting approach may provide individuals with different immune responses against COVID-19 than a homologous boosting approach, said Dan Baruch, MD, PhD, Director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research at BIDMC. In this preliminary study, when a booster dose of AD26, COV2S was given to individuals six months after a primary regimen with the BNT162b2 vaccine, there was a comparable increase of antibody responses at week 4 following the boost and a greater increase of CD8 plus T cell responses with AD26, COV2S compared with BNT162B2. These results provide valuable scientific insights for our vaccine when used as a mix and match booster and can help inform boosting strategies with the goal to curb the pandemic, said Matai Mammon, MD, PhD, Global Head, Janssen Research and Development, Johnson & Johnson. These data add to the growing body of evidence demonstrating that a mix and match booster dose of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine successfully increases humoral responses and cellular responses against the original strain of SARS-CoV-2 as well as the beta and delta variants. He's phase 2 data are reinforced by preliminary results from the UK COV Boost clinical study published in The Lancet, which demonstrated that following primary vaccination with two doses of either BNT162B2 N equals 106 or CH ad ox 1 NCOV19 N equals 108, a booster dose of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine increased both antibody and T-cell responses cellular T cell responses. In this preliminary study, boosting with the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine after a primary vaccine regimen of BNT162b2 appears to lead to a greater increase in CD8 plus T cell responses than boosting with BNT162b2. These T cell response data suggest differences between immune responses following homologous boosting with BNT162b2, and mix and match boosting with the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine following a primary regimen of BNT162b2. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine leverages Janssen's ADVAC technology and cell-mediated immunity, including CD4 plus and CD8 plus responses. T-cells can target and destroy cells infected by the virus that causes COVID-19. Specifically, CD8 plus T-cells can directly destroy infected cells and are aided by CD4 plus T-cells. Humoral antibody responses. Both the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine and BNT162b2 as boosters led to similar neutralizing and binding antibody levels against the original SARS-CoV-2 strain, as well as the Delta and Beta variants, four weeks following the boost. However, after a mix-and-match booster dose of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, antibodies continued to increase for at least four weeks whereas in individuals who received a homologous boost with the BNT162b2 vaccine, antibodies declined from week 2 to week 4 post-boost. Neutralizing antibodies are capable of binding to the virus in a way that blocks infection and confines the virus to the upper respiratory tract. 
Binding antibodies can bind to the virus spike protein and inactivate the virus through non-neutralizing antiviral functionalities. Study design. For this study, a specimen by repository at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center BIDMC, obtained samples from individuals who received the BNT 162 B2 vaccine. Participants either continued follow-up in the by repository and were boosted with 30 UG BNT 162 B2 N equals 24, or were enrolled in the COV 2008 study NCTO 4999111 and were boosted with 5 2.5 or 1 by 10 10 BP of the Johnson and Johnson COVID-19 vaccine N equals 41. The COV-2008 study is a Johnson & Johnson-sponsored, ongoing, blinded Phase II clinical trial BAC -COV to evaluate its COVID-19 vaccine as a booster in adults 18 years of age and older. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices ACIP, has recommended the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine as a booster for all eligible individuals aged 18 years and older who receive an authorized COVID-19 vaccine. Johnson & Johnson continues to submit relevant data to other regulators, the World Health Organization WHO, and National Immunization Technical Advisory Groups NITAGs, worldwide to inform decision-making on local vaccine administration strategies, as needed. In collaboration with academic groups in South Africa and around the world, the company has been evaluating the effectiveness of its COVID-19 vaccine across variants, now including the new and rapidly spreading Omicron variant. In addition, the company is pursuing an Omicron-specific variant vaccine and will progress it as needed. For more information on the company's multi-pronged approach to helping combat the pandemic, visit www.jnj.com. Authorized use. The Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine, also referred to as the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine, is authorized for use under an Emergency Use Authorization EUA, for active immunization to prevent coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19, caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2. Primary vaccination regimen for the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine is a single dose, 0.5 milliliters, administered to individuals 18 years of age and older. A single Janssen COVID-19 vaccine booster dose, 0.5 milliliters, may be administered at least two months after the primary vaccination to individuals 18 years of age and older. A single booster dose of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine, 0.5 milliliters, may be administered to individuals 18 years of age and older as a heterologous booster dose following completion of primary vaccination with another authorized or approved COVID-19 vaccine. The dosing interval for the heterologous booster dose is the same as that authorized for a booster dose of the vaccine used for primary vaccination. Important safety information. Tell the vaccination provider about all of your medical conditions, including if you have any allergies, have a fever, have a bleeding disorder, or are on a blood thinner or immunocompromised, or are on a medicine that affects your immune system or pregnant or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding, have received another COVID-19 vaccine, have ever fainted in association with an injection. You should not get the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine if you had a severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of this vaccine had a severe allergic reaction to any ingredient of this vaccine. The Janssen COVID-19 vaccine will be given to you as an injection into the muscle. Primary vaccination. The Janssen COVID-19 vaccine is administered as a single dose. Booster dose. A single booster dose of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine may be administered at least two months after primary vaccination with the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. A single booster dose of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine may be administered to individuals 18 years of age and older who have completed primary vaccination with a different authorized or approved COVID-19 vaccine. Please check with your health care provider regarding timing of the booster dose. Side effects that have been reported with the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine include injection site reactions, pain, redness of the skin, and swelling. General side effects, headache, feeling very tired, muscle aches, nausea, fever, swollen lymph nodes, blood clots, unusual feeling in the skin, such as tingling or a crawling feeling, paresthesia, decreased feeling or sensitivity, especially in the skin, hypoesthesia, persistent ringing in the ears, tinnitus.
Diarrhea, vomiting. There is a remote chance that the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine could cause a severe allergic reaction. A severe allergic reaction would usually occur within a few minutes to one hour after getting a dose of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. For this reason, your vaccination provider may ask you to stay at the place where you received your vaccine for monitoring after vaccination. Signs of a severe allergic reaction can include difficulty breathing swelling of your face and throat a fast heartbeat a bad rash all over your body dizziness and weakness. Blood clots with low levels of platelets. Blood clots involving blood vessels in the brain, lungs, abdomen, and legs along with low levels of platelets, blood cells that help your body stop bleeding, have occurred in some people who have received the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. In people who developed these blood clots and low levels of platelets, symptoms began approximately one to two weeks after vaccination. Reporting of these blood clots and low levels of platelets has been highest in females ages 18 through 49 years. The chance of having this occur is remote. You should seek medical attention right away if you have any of the following symptoms after receiving Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. Shortness of breath, chest pain, leg swelling, persistent abdominal pain, severe or persistent headaches or blurred vision, easy bruising or tiny blood spots under the skin beyond the site of the injection. These may not be all the possible side effects of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. Serious and unexpected effects may occur. The Janssen COVID-19 vaccine is still being studied in clinical trials. Guillain-Barre syndrome. Guillain-Barre syndrome, a neurological disorder in which the body's immune system damages nerve cells, causing muscle weakness and sometimes paralysis, has occurred in some people who have received the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. In most of these people, symptoms began within 42 days following receipt of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. The chance of having this occur is very low. You should seek medical attention right away if you develop any of the following symptoms after receiving the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. Weakness or tingling sensations, especially in the legs or arms, that's worsening and spreading to other parts of the body. Difficulty walking. Difficulty with facial movements, including speaking, chewing, or swallowing. Double vision or inability to move eyes. Difficulty with bladder control or bowel function. you for listening to our news update there's more on youtube.com slash travel news group or you can read us of course in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online